it is Miss K and I am so, so excited that I get to hang out with every single one of you from your home. I know that this is a little odd, isn't it? We're so used to being in school and seeing our friends and it's just a little different, but you know what? We're gonna have so much fun over the next few weeks. I, now, I have some very cool activities for all of us to do together over the next few weeks until maybe I get to see you again. Um, and so we're gonna just get right into it. Right okay, so today we're gonna do a read aloud with one of my favorite books, favorite books. This book is called I Like Myself. Friends, take a look at this cover. I want you to visualize. I want you to imagine what you think this story is about. So take 10 seconds, Miss K is gonna do it too, and I'm visualizing what I think the story might be about. Okay. You visualize, you thought about it, but let's figure out if you are right. Oh, I think I hear a knock at my door. I think I hear a knock at my door. Let me go see who it is. Let me go see who it is. It's my friend Albert. I want you to meet my friend Albert. Albert, say hi. Albert is so excited to be hanging out with us. I forgot to mention that. He's going to be with us for the next few weeks, right, Albert? Okay, Albert, should we read the book? Should we read the book, boys and girls? Albert says yes. Okay, all right, Albert, I'm going to, why don't you have a seat like everybody else is, and then we'll talk to you after, okay? I'm out there. Let's read this book, I Like Myself. like myself. I'm glad I'm me. There's no one else I'd rather be. And look at all these people on the pages. There's all sorts of people and animals and someone who's blue on the page. I see a big doggy. Look at the types of people. I like my eyes, my ears, my nose. I like my finger and my toes. I'm wiggling my toes over you wiggle your toes. I like me wild. I like me tame. I like me different. I like me the same. feeling in the story. How do you think he's feeling? He looks a little bit sad or scared to me, huh? I like me fast. I like me slow. I like me everywhere I go. Oh my gosh, look at our friend in the story. They are underneath a rocket. Mm. Oh my gosh, look at this dog. So silly. I like me on the inside too, for all I think and say and do. Oh my goodness. What is that called? What's that called? Skeleton, right? Let's see, the skeleton and the dog too. Oh my goodness. Inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe and all around. I like it all. It's all is me, and me is all I want to be. And I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. I may be called a silly nut or a crazy cuckoo bird, so what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. They are having a lot of fun. And even when I look a mess, I still don't like me any less, because nothing in this world, you know, can change what's deep inside. And so, 
no matter if they stop and stare, no person ever anywhere can make me feel that what they see is all there really is to me. Mm. Look at that bike. Would you ride a bike like that? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, in this case, I might try to ride a bike like that. I might fall off though. And I would definitely need a helmet, but pretty cool bike. I'd still like me with fleas or warts or with a silly snout that snorts. Let's hear your snorting sound. This okay, case sounds pretty silly. Let me hear yours. Oh, that's pretty good for those of you who get it. All right. Or knobby knees or hippo hips. Or a purple polka dotted lips. Oh, look at her lips are polka dots. Or polka dots. If you would like polka dot lips, give me a thumbs up. If not, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. Oh no, I don't think I would want polka dot lips. Uh oh. Or beaver breath or stinky toes or horns protruding from my nose. Protruding from their nose. That means coming out of their nose, right? The horns coming out of their nose. Oh my goodness. Or yikes with spikes all down my spine or hair that's like a porcupine. I still would be the same, you see. Look how silly she looks, by the way. I like myself because I'm me. Oh my goodness. I like myself because I'm me. Albert, what did you think of that story? Let's ask my friend Albert here. Albert, what did you think of the story? Did you like it? Albert loved it, and Miss Kay loved it too. So my question, Albert, my question for you is what do you like about yourself? Let me hear, Albert, what do you like about yourself? Huh, Albert said he likes his feathers and his voice. What do I like about myself? I like that I get to be a teacher and get to hang out with all of you, even if it's through a screen. I love that about myself. And I also love my new hair. Did you know this Miss Kay got new hair? I did. It was my new hair and I love it. But I like that about myself. What do you like about you? We want to know. So this is how we're going to do it. Are you listening? How are you listening? What I want you to do is your parent or guardian, I want you to type it into Class Dojo and tell me what they like about themselves. So tell me what your child likes about themselves. Or you could record a video and send it on Classroom Dojo and I'll make sure that I respond. Because I want to hear what you like about yourself too. So go ahead and get that done. That's our challenge for the week. I'm going to give you a challenge every week. And okay. All right, my friends. Thank you for joining me at this time. I will see you sometime next week for another fun activity. Bye-bye. I'll say bye.